everyone. So I want to do a special video on five tips for studying maths to ignite your math marks. Not just improve them, but ignite them, right? Especially these last two tips, right? One, to increase pretty much what most people will do, but tip four and five is really gonna ignite you and help you get to that 90 plus if executed properly. All right, so let's get start straight into it. Step, tip one, summarize weekly, right? So each week when you learn something new in maths, at the end of the week, just summarize in a nice, neat, concise format. Really simple to do, right? That way, it helps you learn what you've done that week and has a nice summary book that you can refer back to when doing tip number two, which is the most obvious one of them all. Just practice as many problems as you can and as often as you can, right? And when you're practicing problems, make sure there are different types and levels, right? You don't want to just be doing easy ones for algebra, you want to do like tree, geometry, measurement, whatever. Make sure they're also easy, hard, right? Very. And then, especially as you get into the higher years, like year 11 and 12, do past papers as often as possible, right? Because exams are most similar to past papers, so the more you do, the more you get used to the types of questions, right? Now tip three, get extra help, right? This is an obvious one. If you're struggling with a question or a topic, seek help immediately, right? Why? Well, you don't want to go into the new math week with um, something you're struggling with, right? Because it's what we call a compounding effect. If you're struggling with a topic, you know you get help immediately, you learn new stuff, and that just kick, you still can't do the old stuff, which means you can't do the new stuff, and by the time you get to the exam, you can't do anything or not much, right? So you make sure you fix those problems as quick as possible, right? And that's where um, having the right tutor Okay, it will help motivate you and push you, right? Um, the, the way I like to do with my students is I like to really push them out of their comfort zone, right? That's the only way to improve your mass ability is just to be pushed out of your comfort zone. Don't do what you're used to, right? But by yourself doing really hard questions is hard. That's why the right tree will push you. And um, well, that's it for that tip. All right, four. Now this is one that is a really good one. Practice past papers properly. Well, wow. look at that alliteration. Now what I mean by properly? Well, um, one of the biggest problems I find for a lot of students is they're pretty shit at exams. And what I mean by that is doing actual exams, right? They know all this stuff, but they panic writing an exam, they can't complete the exam, which is tying to tip five as well. So how do you help fix that? Well, what you wanna do is start practicing past papers in the exam note at home. So actually practice doing that past paper as though it's the actual exam. So say you have a two hour exam for maths coming up, you're gonna go home, find a quiet space, set two hours, and practice that past paper in that two hours as though it's the actual exam, and do that as many times as you can. The more you can practice doing the actual past paper in exam note at home, the more you'll get used to doing actual exams. So when it comes to the actual exam, you're used to, well, you know what you're, you're meant to be doing, right? You, you know how you're meant to be doing exams and you'll just get better at the actual exam. And lastly, tip number five, improve your mental maths. So what I mean by that, we well, wanna to learn to rely on a calculator less. The more you rely on a calculator, the slower your math ability is, right? So if you can improve your mental math ability, being able to do simple calculations with fractions addition and multiplication, without having to use a calculator, that will translate to helping you be able to do math problems faster, right? Um, people treat a calculator as their first resort, I view a calculator as a last resort, right? I'll do all the calculations I can, and if it gets too tricky or too messy, then I'll go to a calculator. Um, back when I did my HSC, so in Sydney, or New South Wales, we did for um, year 12, we have, it's called the HSC, it was a three hour exam, I completed it in an hour and a half, right? In half the time, how did I do that? Well, my mental map abilities are off the chart, right? Not bragging actually, I'm hashtag bragging, but whatever, I'm saying, by having really good mental map abilities, not even needing to calculate it for much, it just makes everything faster, right? And a big problem, as we're talking about, is people don't finish exams, right? I asked my students, how was the exam? It was pretty good, but I didn't finish. All right, why don't they finish? Well, they're just too slow. And why are you too slow? Because your mental math abilities are very low, or not low, they're not 
as high as they should be. And the problem is, these are things you should have learned back in primary or early high school, but you'll pour it at them, you're, sorry, you'll pour it at them then, and you're tongue twisted. And now, as you're getting to 11 and 12, you never improve them. So your mental map ability is still very low, and you rely on to calculate too much, and you're just too slow, and you'll never finish the exam, right? So what you wanna do is practice improving your mental maps as often as possible, weekly you can, and that's what I've dedicated this YouTube channel to mainly, is special tricks to improve mental maps and just faster ways to doing questions, right? So if you enjoy these tips, I recommend implementing them immediately, right? Especially these two, these are important ones. So this channel is dedicated to this, right, at the moment. Right? I really want, because I don't have time to um, improve my students' mental maths abilities, because we've got so much content to learn. So that's why I'm doing this channel, to improve it. So make sure if you really want to improve your mental maths and just ignite your math marks, make sure to subscribe to this channel, give us a video a like and comment below what type of videos you want to see in the future. Right? Um, till next video guys.